couple more of these and we'll be done for the night. I guess that makes no sense to you, but whatever. All right, so we covered Dalton in A. Let's do this real quick. Make sure I didn't skip anything. Um, yeah, we're good. So here we have B, Avogadro. So the video covered some of these. It didn't say much of these. But Avogadro in 1811 suggested the equal volumes of different gases under the same conditions contain the same number of moles. All right. Avogadro had his number. This is how he figured it out um, through saying, all right, this amount is one mole. It has a specific mass for each individual element. All right, letter C, Mendeleev developed the periodic table of elements, which finalized the belief in the existence of atoms. In 1896, though, Henry Becquerel accidentally discovered that uranium, and this was probably in the video, ores emit invisible rays that fog photographic plates. Now, as of this very moment in history, we don't think um, that the atom is divisible currently. Dalton just had this circled in the plum pudding that things were in it. All right, now, whoops, I haven't talked about the plum pudding yet. Got ahead of myself, so let me redraw this. It's just a circle. Plum pudding will make sense in a little while. All right, so this is Dalton's model. It's this, and it's indivisible. But now Henry Becquerel comes along, and he's found that something is coming out of the uranium nucleus um, and that something fogs his photographic plates. Uh, he was trying to take pictures of scientific experiments and they weren't working out. So he came up with this idea and then Marie Curie and her husband Pierre found that these rays came from the nucleus, sorry, the atom, and were smaller than the atom. Marie was the first to use the term radioactivity. All right, so if we have something coming out and it's smaller, then this no longer works. We don't say Dalton's an idiot. We just say he was wrong now, but for his time, he had fantastic ideas. All right, we would now say that the atom must be divisible because it's obviously been proven to be made out of parts. This was a huge discovery and would change the scientific view of the atom forever. All right. Now, their pay for this, Marie Curie uh, and Pierre, and most of the people that worked with this stuff at first, they died from radiation poisoning. Um, but it was a great service they did to the scientific community in discovering these and researching these. All right, there are two elements, curium and polonium, um, that are named after Marie Curie. Polonium comes from their country, Poland. Um, and then they also came up with radium, which was one of, not came up with it, but discovered radium first as well. Quite famous and a great contribution um, to science by a married couple. It's quite a unique story. 